I have to be very honest that when I was 17 and 18, when I became, respectively, when I became Miss India and Miss World, it was the beginning of me even entertaining the idea of show business in my head because I wanted to be an engineer. I was a physics math student. I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer. I wanted to build planes. I wanted to be in NASA. I come from an extremely academic family. No one in my wildest dreams in my family had imagined show business as a career. My grandmother, in fact, still asked me until about 10 years ago, what do you do? <laughs> so I said, I'm an actor. Yeah, yeah, but what do you, act like, what's what your job? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust an Indian grandmother to ask you that. <laughs> but um, so what changed with me when I, when, when I became Miss World, which happened in London, actually, it gave me a sense of self. I, when I was a teenager, I had a lot of self-esteem issues like most teenagers do, you know. You don't know what's happening with you. You don't know what your body is going through. You don't know. I was gawky. My hair was all funny and frizzy and I didn't know what to do with it. I had so much of it. I, yeah, and like I hated braids and my mom would make them. And you know, so I had all of those issues even when I was in America. I went to high school in America and um, I was very confused with who I was and what I was supposed to be. Um, I was bullied in school a little bit, not by everyone, but I had a bully, and she just made my life miserable and used to, you know, ha hate on me basis where I came from. I think that's probably all she knew to hurt me. She used to call me curry, she used to call me brownie, she used to say, go back to your country on the elephant you came on. And it got really, at 15, it got really hard for me. Sure. So I decided, you know, I want to go back to India, and I went back home. And I feel like that's when destiny played its game. My mum randomly sent photos without telling me to Miss India. I didn't know. I just thought that they called me because I was discovered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> teenage egos. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, and then um, it, it gave me a sense of confidence that I could walk onto the stage, speak the way I speak, and I've been raised to be an opinionated girl. My parents always told me, if you have an opinion, don't be afraid to share it. And that's all I did. I didn't know how to walk on heels. I tripped on my sari backstage five times. And then I was in like these velvet pants with boots on and then I tripped on it again. <laughs> I knew it would happen to me on stage. I still have PTSD about it. But, but I'm just saying like it, it gave me a sense of the fact that my personality and the way I speak and my confidence is what won me that crown made me feel like confidence is your best accessory. There is nothing else you need. If you, the only thing you need to wear well is your confidence.